My name is Ann Blaze. I'm a medical oncologist and professor at the University of Minnesota Medical Center, uh, where I'm also the co-director of the Screening, Prevention, Etiology, and Cancer Survivorship Program within the Masonic Cancer Center. Um, I had the pleasure today of being involved in an educational session called Heart of the Matter. And within this, I was joined by a patient advocate and patient herself, as well as cardiologist, Dr. Michael Fradley from the University of Pennsylvania, where we really had the opportunity to discuss how cancer therapies impact the heart. In this case, um, Karina, our patient advocate, shared her story of being diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 33, having no risk factors, and going through anthracycline-based treatment and left-sided breast radiation, and then developing three years later heart failure. We talked about the importance of addressing cardiovascular risk factors in patients diagnosed with cancer. This is looking at things like age, blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, but also the types of regimens that we're going to be prescribing. In the case of, case of our patient advocate, she was receiving anthracyclines and left-sided breast radiation, but this may also apply to our patients getting VEGF inhibitors, immunotherapy, trastuzumab-based therapies, and the importance of addressing risk not only at baseline, but during treatment, at the end of treatment, and also through the phases of survivorship. It was great in the session to hear um, a patient advocate and their perspective, uh, recognizing that they were diagnosed not just with breast cancer, but in the survivorship period of also being diagnosed with heart failure, uh, really having two comorbidities long-term at such a young age. This impacts her overall um, advocacy of really the importance of giving patients hope as well, um, but recognizing the important need that we talk to them about long-term risks, not just once, um, but again with repetition um, through the survivorship period as sometimes these risks change. And on top of that, um, new developments can come about and patients are at different stages to be able to hear the, the impact of what their treatments may have, but also staying hopeful on how do we keep living well. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.